Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is me, I am Tung, and today I have another video, uh, just a quick video today on how I do the triple stack. So a triple stack is uh, what I use to tell a story on Instagram because everyone just posts one four by four five image on Instagram. I saw this done by one of my favorite photographers, Moneris. Now she does this all the time with the triple stacks and I think that's such a cool way to tell a story. I'm going to show you how I do it and my thought process on what it is that I want to uh, show to my viewers when I do the triple stack. We're going to get into Photoshop right now, the images that I use and my thought process on why I'm using these images. All right, so we're going to go into Photoshop, go to new. It's going to be four by five inches with four height five and make sure it's on portrait orientation and then we're just gonna press okay and afterwards I'm gonna pick these three photos that I have right here now these were shot in Hawaii and I took them during sunrise I chose three different shots right we have one of a human subject and then we have um, just like the overpowerful the powerful sunlight hitting us and then I got one of the sky, the image from the sky. And and individually, right, it doesn't tell much of a story when you post a, a single image. However, when we do this uh, triple stack where we put three images into one four by five image, it creates a story, it creates a narrative. It sets the mood and it invokes an emotion and it just allows your viewer to know where you were at that time. And I think this is a great way of telling a story. And it's a great way of getting more of your images out there because people only post one photo, but you know, as a photographer, you shoot more than one photo. I thought this was a cool way to just uh, show people what I can do. So in order to do the triple stack, we're gonna open up uh, the four by five canvas right here, which we got. And then we're going to go to view and then we're going to go to guides and then we're going to go to new guide layout. And after that, they're going to show you guidelines, right? And here you see that, you know, it's on number of rows and that's what we want. We don't want columns, so forget that. It says number two here. So what, what we're going to do is change that to three. We'll let Photoshop divide that up equally. And that's going to be your guidelines. We're going to press OK. And then from here, you're just going to start putting in your photos. So for placement, um, I try to be strategic with where I place certain things. If I have two wide shots, I would place them. I place one on top and then one at the bottom. And then if I have like a close up, that would be the main attraction. And that would be what I put in the middle. So just play around with that. Um, have your own strategy on what it is that you want to do. Uh, that's just how I uh, see things in my perspective. So we're just going to continue on right here. Let's see what we have. So, so basically we have an aerial shot and a wide shot of a of an old man at sunrise and then just a picture of a good old sunset. So I was thinking we're gonna put this in the middle right here. And you and you can already see that, you know, the guide the picture is too big for the guidelines. So what we're going to do is we're going to erase the stuff that we don't need. I'm gonna choose the marquee tool and I'm just gonna just use the guidelines to help me erase parts that I don't need. All right. So you click uh, the E button for erase and then you um, you just erase within this box and then it's gone. And then once, once you're done that, you do the other side, make that and when you make the marquee box, right, it's just going to affect whatever is in that box. If you go over here, you're not, it's not going to get erased. So you see everything's going to happen down here. See, I tried to, I tried to erase this, but it won't allow me. So it, it only affects stuff within that box. And after that, we're just going to repeat the process with the two other images. I'm going to put the aerial drone, the aerial shot at the top right here. And I think that looks good. And you see that, you know, the aerial shot is overlapping uh, the middle shot. So what we're going to do is, again, marquee tool to draw that rectangle within the guidelines. E to erase 
and you can see here that the the mouse cursor has a stop sign on it so what we're going to do is press click and then it's this window populates and it says that you need to rasterize before uh, we can uh, edit the contents so you're going to press ok and then after that you should be able to erase it so we're going to erase this part that we don't want and there you go and then the last one right here let's see where i want it maybe something like that looks good press enter and then again marquee press e press click press ok and it just erase everything in that marquee box and there you go we, we have three pictures in one four by five image uh, ready to go for instagram and that's about it guys let me know uh, what your thoughts and if you have any more suggestions on what kind of tutorials you want to see from me uh, let me know in the comments down below there you have it this is the final image i certainly like this it definitely shows where i am and at this point i was in hawaii it was it was in the morning and then just just when the sun was about to rise it was a very beautiful morning very very beautiful and it's so serene so and uh, that's me telling you a story within the uh the triple stack the the tri pick that is it for me guys hope you guys learned something today uh once again my name is tongue and i'll see you in the next video i love you okay bye